Welcome back, dear viewers. And from, let's say, the South Asia, Southeast Asia to somewhere very special. Despite the great geographical distance between the two countries and the difference in religion, language, customs and traditions between the two peoples, all these factors did not prevent the establishment of a distinct and exceptional relationship between the state of Kuwait and the friendly Republic of Cuba. That relationship, rooted decades ago, branched out to include various fields of cooperation, especially in the field of health care. Today, we will shed more light on aspects of joint cooperation between the two countries through our guests. His Excellency Jose Luis Noriega Sanchez, Ambassador of Republic of Cuba to the State of Kuwait. And hello and good morning, Your Excellency. It's an honor to meet you. So welcome and uh, thank you again for have the opportunity to be here in this uh, my home. It is your second home as well, Your Excellency, and we are glad to have you here with us. We were talking a little bit about the two countries and the cooperation and all of that. So the diplomatic relations between Kuwait and Cuba has been since a long time. Tell us yeah. about that. Well, uh, in a few years, only in one year, in 2014, we are going to be celebrating the fifth anniversary of the diplomatic relation between the sister country of Kuwait, the beautiful country of Kuwait, and the Republic of Cuba. Yes. So uh, it's amazing, half a, a century, uh, 50 years. So we feel proud because, uh, you know, the way to continue and develop the relation is not easy in many ways, but uh, when there is a will between two countries, to go for war, that's the most important. So it's not only 50 years that we're going to be celebrating, it's the proud and the very good friendship and brotherhood between the Republic of Cuba and the sister Republic of Kuwait. Yes, indeed, 50 years, Your Excellency, and we are not talking just about the diplomatic relations. The brotherhood between Kuwait and Cuba, they have a lot and similar. We said there is a lot of difference, but at the same time, similarities is always there. In your opinion, what are the most prominent features of Kuwaiti diplomacy? Everybody knows uh, the key uh, role that Kuwait plays in the international arena, yeah. not only here in the Gulf uh, area mm -hmm. or in the region, but also in the world. So uh, everybody knows the goodwill and the effort that Kuwait and the leadership of uh, this beautiful country made mm -hmm. in order to make a good contribution for the peace all over the world, in order the resolution of the conflict and also to approach country with different, uh, I mean, uh, point of view regarding issue in the international arena, yeah. uh, looking for peace, for understanding and of course, uh, of course for progress. So uh, Cuba has uh, in a very big value that contribution of Kuwait. And of course, all the time we have been uh, uh, telling our will to support and to encourage uh, that willing of the sister Republic of Kuwait. Well, Your Excellency, I know that during the COVID-19, uh, Kuwait and Cuba had done a great together, a collaboration. And Cuba really lent a hand to Kuwait in the health sector and we received several of the uh, representatives as well as the healthcare uh, people from the uh, doctors, uh, nurses, and a lot of them are still here in Kuwait. Well, we brought uh, in June 2020 yeah. a medical team. This is expert in disaster. Yeah. So it's not the normal uh, medical team that we, we used to have in our country. Yes. We have some amount of medical team, I mean doctors, nurses, technicians, they're very well trained for disaster and epidemiological situation. Yes. So that's w this is the kind of uh, team that we brought to Kuwait because Corona at that time, June 2020, nobody knows what will happen. Indeed. So uh, our modest contribution to help uh, eradicate Corona was to bring our staff here. So that's what we are doing all over the world. And Kuwait and Cuba share the same opinion. At that time, and even today, to face that kind of disaster, we can call it disaster, that yes, situation of Corona, it was, uh, was to work together. No country can face that 
terrible situation alone, Indeed. no matter how many resources you have. That's so true. So we should uh, work hand by hand. And that's why when Kuwait asked for the support of uh, my country, very quickly, very quickly, we put here about 300 doctors and nurses, and they were for about one year. Now they left in June 21. And uh, now we still have a small amount of doctors, nurses, technicians uh, working in the Hadi clinic. Yes. It's a private clinic. Mm -hmm. And we are working with that clinic and another hospital, private hospital, uh, because they are interested in bringing more health uh, professionals from my country. And also with Kuwait government, we are also trying, but maybe if you ask me later, uh, what can we do? to enhance Indeed. and to promote more the collaboration in the health sector. Yes, yeah. indeed. We were going to that question later on, and I know that uh no doubt that Cuba is a country with great potentials, uh, Your Excellency, and diverse and encouraging opportunities for investment. What are the most important ways to support and enhance Kuwaiti investors to in Cuba? Uh, I know that a lot of Kuwaitis really would love to go to the tourism investment or sectors, but there is more. Well, in fact, uh, I am a, not, not completely happy, but I am a little happy uh, because it's increasing the amount of uh, Kuwaiti uh, traveling to Cuba, as mm -hmm. you say very well, for tourism. Mm -hmm. Not as much as I will, or as much as the Kuwaiti need to know Cuba, but it's increasing step by step. Okay. The tourism is a very mm -hmm. uh, potential sector for Kuwait investment. Cuba has all the potential. And I can tell you that only one week ago, uh, the newspaper, uh, the British newspaper, The Telegraph, choose Cuba as the best destination to travel for tourism in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So it was the newspaper, The Telegraph, a British, very famous. But not only that, uh, potential for building a hotel, uh, for building facility, for exchange with millions of tourists. Uh, I say one time here that we are about 11 million inhabitants. And in 2019, we were receiving almost five million tourists. It means half the population of Cuba. Yeah. So now we are in 22, we are expecting that from 23, the tourists again come to, the, to that place that they had before. But also we have a lot of uh, uh, opportunity, agriculture, uh, biotechnology. We have a very powerful, you know, we had uh, the possibility to produce five vaccines yes. only in one year and a half against coronavirus being a poor country and now three of them and also the famous Abdallah yes. vaccine mm -hmm. uh, are going to be uh, certified by the World Health Organization Great. so uh, we feel proud of that and uh, biotechnology is a very powerful area for Kuwait invest agriculture also you know uh, we're talking today all over the world about the food security yes. so this is an area very key for Kuwait but also for Cuba and there is another area, and I can expand a little if you allow me, please. Yes, please. Uh, in a few days, uh, Kuwait and Cuba are going to celebrate a very high meeting between the two governments. Okay. So the agenda is already ready to discuss a lot of bilateral issues. So we feel happy, we feel proud that in that agenda there are a lot of space to discuss many issues. Uh, uh, regarding Kuwait and regarding Cuba. After that, uh, I mean uh, high-level meeting, uh, we are preparing now during this day. Okay. Uh, we are expecting that the, uh, the bilateral relation, not political, because from political uh, side, yeah. I feel proud. We are a very strong relation, very proud relation between Cuba and Kuwait. But also, we understand that from the economic, business, investment, we need to go beyond. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are expecting that after that high-level meeting that we are going to celebrate just in a few days, uh, things change okay. for the best. <laughs> so we are waiting for that, and we want of that course. exclusively for Good Morning Kuwait, Your Excellency. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really wonderful. And we are seeing here on the screen a little bit a glimpse of Cuba, and everybody loves, like, if we called if he said Cuba directly we would go to Havana mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit about the things that we are seeing the wonders of Cuba so 
from my opinion, in a very humble way, the best thing uh, for the tourists when they travel to my country is our population. People. Uh, it's the people. Yeah. When you arrive a, to a new country as a foreigner, mm -hmm. and you feel that you are not a foreigner, that you are like a part of that country, you feel better to enjoy that country. So this is my people, like Kuwait. Yes. Then from that point, you can visit the beach, historical places. This is for more than, these places has more than three, 400 years old because it's a very important for us to preserve our, to preserve our culture, uh, to preserve our site, historical area, you see that? So many tourists say, ah, oh, wow, what is this like that? Because for us, the most easy is to demolish and to build a new. Yes. But what happened with the history? Mm -hmm. So for us, it's important. And this is one of the points the tourists follow too much. On the other hand, you see, this is our beauty from the nature, our beaches. Our beaches continue being among the five best in the world. Yes. It's not us who said that. It's the international entity who no. said that. One of the five top beaches around beaches the world. Beaches around the world, yes. yes. Also, our food is very similar to the Kuwait food, very similar. And uh, finally, uh, but the most important maybe, is a, Kuwait is a safe country. So you can walk three, two, three, four in the morning with your friend, with your family, any area. And uh, nothing happens. It's up to you to enjoy life uh, and life uh, there. So this is the capital. Now our National Assembly is there. Yes, it was remodelated as original. This, now this is original. Wow. And this uh, yellow, this is original gold. Okay. Original gold that uh, uh, some company uh, bring it to Cuba, the paint. Yes. With, with gold. Yes. Uh, it was before, during the, cons during the yeah, renovation. The, the renovation. Yeah, it's not like that. Now it's okay, 100%. So, so this, that would mean the gold, the sun would reflect upon reflect the tower. Reflect with the light in the night. It's very beautiful. It's mm -hmm. amazing. It's, uh, it's, I mean, this is the old area of Havana. Wow. This is the old plaza. There, in that street, we have two factory of, um, we call it re refreshment. Okay. So we d they don't bring it from outside. They do it in front of you, the refreshment. Drinking something like that, you can enjoy there. So, and I can see, as we're speaking about the traditionals, we can see the old cars and those wonderful <laughs> antique cars. And yeah. that really what distinguish, if we can see the photos of Cuba, the old, the, natu the, the, the international things, the greens, the colors. And I love the colors there. Everyone is bright. Everywhere is happy. That's why I think the people of Cuba has a very wonderful nature and festive because of the colors they are surrounded by. Cuba is green and blue. Yes. We used to say very proudly that our sky is one of the most blue in the world. In the world. Respecting millions of friends all over the world, of course. <laughs> yes. And uh, also, this is the language we produce the best cigar in the world. Okay. This is Pinal de Rio province. Uh, f maybe if they are there, we harvest the leaf for the best tobacco in the world is that area. Uh, okay. Pinal de Rio province. Yes. You see, this is very emotionally. Many people, tourists, go there. This is church. The mountains. That, ch that church is more than 200, 250 years, years old. Ago. It's still there. This is the diversity, the old uh, and the new together in one place. And you mm. preserve it and you present it to mm. the world. The beaches, you can go to the beach and clean beaches and as well the sands. And behind mm. you is the mountains, the green mountains. So mm. you can really combine the blue of the sky, the blue of the sea, and the greens of the mountains together in one place. Let me tell you, there are uh, six women, Kuwaiti women. Yes. They are about 60, 60 something years old, but they are uh, in a very good shape okay. and now they are preparing a trip to Cuba oh. they, are they already have their visa but they change a little the day because one of uh, the lady uh, has a small accident okay. and he's recovering now yes. and they ask me what to do in Cuba so I put them in contact with the travel agents tourism tra travel agents they prepare for them something even like this so they called me about four days ago 
and they say, Ambassador, amazing. We didn't expect that. So now they want to increase three more women. Okay. <laughs> in so the group. To the group. Yes. So a ladies group, Our, Your Excellency. It's a lady group, yes. They are friend, family. Uh, they are family and friend. Uh, to go to enjoy uh, Cuba. Not only Cuba, they want to go to to the state and to other countries and they want to finish in Cuba one week. That, that's wonderful. So it made me proud. Yeah. It made me proud. And I asked them, please, when you finish in my country, uh, I would really appreciate if you can come to my embassy and tell me what wrong do you find. What wrong? <laughs> yes. Because the good thing is already done. Yes. Tell me something wrong because we need to be better day by day. Indeed. Indeed. And I think that really uh, emphasized the thing that you said about security. Mm -hmm. If a group of Kuwaiti ladies are mm -hmm. going alone to Cuba, mm -hmm. that means they would feel safe in Cuba and they would be really relaxed to go there, just women. It's our duty to preserve the safe and the security of everybody coming to Cuba. Before we finish, Your Excellency, we were talking a little bit about the health care and there was the cooperation between Kuwait and Cuba and that system. And we have less than a minute to talk about that cooperation or a declaration about the health care and cooperation between each other. Tell us about that. Mm -hmm. The health cooperation, exactly. So as I told you, there is a huge potential. Mm -hmm. We know that Kuwait had need of uh, personal, yes. I mean professional, from doctor, nurses, we are ready. I told that three years ago, almost three years ago when I came here. Yes. I said that we are ready to assist our sister Kuwait with Cuban personnel. Okay. It depends only to agree between the two countries. And as I told you, in a few days we are going to be celebrating a high-level meeting between Indeed. the two governments. Mm -hmm. uh, and the health sector is included in uh, among the topics that we are going to, to discuss. Uh, the one we brought for Corona yes. is specialized team for disaster and emergency. Yes. But we also have a very, for example, in Qatar, Qatar we have now almost 1,000 doctors and nurses. Nice. So this is and what we are looking for in Kuwait? And I'm <laughs> jealous, to tell you the <laughs> truth. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm jealous. We have also in Saudi Arabia. Okay. And uh, I'm jealous because we have here a few in uh, some private uh, institution. Yes. That is good. But wow. if we, a few is nothing. We have a lot of potential, and also they had the experience Indeed. when they came here in 2020, yeah. so they know Kuwait, how Kuwait is, how the mentality of Kuwait. And then let me tell you something. Many of the people who came here in 2020 for Corona, they are in Qatar. Now? About 70, 75, they are in Qatar and wow. in Saudi Arabia. So they came and, to Kuwait, uh, then went to those two countries, to Kuwait? They went to Cuba, and from Cuba, now they are in Qatar. Okay. And they call me, many of them, ah, Ambassador, uh, there is uh, no opportunity in, in Kuwait. So it makes me good sense. It, it means that uh, they left this country happy. Yes. You is. understand? So it's up to us, to Cuba and Kuwait, to do a good job to bring. The, the staff is there. The yes. personnel is there. Okay. Uh, doctors, nurses, technicians. It's only a matter of put uh, Cuba and Kuwait in a good agreement. Well, that's it. This is the ambitious is always a good thing, and we really feel that a lot has been said, and a lot would be better in the future. And I hope that cooperation, the newly ones, would bring so much good news to both countries. Uh, Your Excellency, thank you for being here. Thank you for the good time that you always give us, uh, and thanks for all the help and the greetings that we see in you. You are a good ambassador for Cuba because you have a great smile and a great spirit and that represents Cuban. And we know your dear viewers. Uh, we wish to talk to His Excellency Jose Luis Noriega Sanchez much more, but time is not with us. And as we are here still in Cuba, you know, the artistic side of them are wonderful. So how about we check another artistic side? from Bedir al and let us see what he has for us. 